today's video, I'd just like to share that 94% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So if you are feeling generous, be sure to drop a like and a sub, and let's get right into today's video. Thank you. Howdy, I'm Daxio, and this is Plugged In News. And in today's pin update, we have Democrats say they have a deal on tax increases, as well as House approves $1 billion for Israel's Iron Dome defense system. Let's get right into that. And for the first story today, this is coming from the Washington Examiner by Susan uh, Faircheo, and it is Democrats say they have a deal on tax increases. And this goes on to read, Congressional Democrats and the White House have reached an agreement on a framework to pay for the massive social welfare spending package, party leaders said Thursday. But they have no no deal on how much they'll spend on the legislation, which initially came with a $3.5 trillion price tag that some party centrists say is too high. The revenue side of this, we have an agreement on a framework, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer told reporters on Thursday. The New York Democrat has been working to corral lawmakers in his party to agree to the terms of a $3.5 trillion social welfare spending package that has stalled over objections from centrists. Democrats plan to use tax increases on corporations to pay for at least part of the bill, but some centrist party lawmakers disagree with some of the new taxes that appears to be settled, according to Schumer, who did not provide details. Pelosi said the House Budget Committee will advance a bill in a timely fashion and that the revenue plan the Democrats have agreed to can cover the proposal the president put forth to build back better his vision for the country. Lawmakers are now racing to show at least the framework of, of an agreement by next week when House Democrats plan to take up a $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill package that liberals say they won't vote for unless the social welfare bill passes ahead of it. Speaker Nancy Pelosi, a California Democrat who appeared alongside Schumer, told reporters the Democrats have been making great progress toward a final deal on the social welfare package, but they have not written the bill. Lawmakers she said, are determining what is affordable, what is effective, and what gets the best results out of an array of so many good provisions. Hmm. Here's one provision. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll continue reading. Hold on. The bill aims to pay for a new package of government programs, including free community college, free preschool, paid family and medical leave, expanded Medicare benefits, and extension of child tax credits, among many other provisions. Pelosi declined to give details on the forthcoming agreement. The House, the Senate, and the White House came to an agreement on how we can go forward in a way to pay for this, Pelosi said. This was great progress. Pelosi downplayed the price tag and said the party is focused on what's in the bill. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what's in the bill when you keep taking or uh, making money out of nowhere and then making the citizens pay for it, the taxpayers, because we are going to have to pay for this, either which way. If they tax corporations, corporations are either going to fire more people or raise their prices, which, guess what, is basically like a tax on us because we have to spend more money. It's as simple as that. We cannot keep printing off money. That's not how economics work. I mean, look what happened to Venezuela. Their whole economy collapsed. All their money is virtually worth nothing now. I mean, like, World of Warcraft coins are worth more than Venezuelan money. So again, a $3.5 trillion deal, a $1.2 trillion deal. Either which way, it's going to cost us money. It's going to suck. We, we need to stop spending money. And <laughs> here we go. Our second story today, this is coming from CNN Politics by Annie Grayer, and it is House Approves $1 billion for Israel's Iron Dome defense system. Huh. So the House approved it. All right. Uh, let's, let's go into this. Uh, the House on Thursday easily approved a bill to provide funding for Israel's Iron Dome after it was removed from a separate bill to prevent a government shutdown and suspend the nation's borrowing limit. The $1 billion in funding uh, allocated for the aerial defense system had initially been included in the must-pass legislation that the House considered earlier in the week, but the provision was removed from the final version to appease a group of progressives who said they would sink the legislation unless the funding was struck from it. The bill now goes to the Senate, where it's unclear when it will get a vote. So basically what they do is they just take this one part of the bill and move it out. And then re-vote on it again. And if it passes, it passes. Um, 
House Majority Leader uh, Steny Hoyer created a separate bill to bring to the floor on Thursday under suspension, which means it bypassed the normal rules required to pass the bill and required a two-thirds majority to pass. The final vote was 420 to 9, with two present, eight Democrats, and one Republican voted against the bill. As of November 2020, the United States has provided $1.6 billion to Israel for the Iron Dome batteries, interceptors, co-production costs, and general maintenance, according to the Congressional Research Service. The legislation specifically will provide funding to replace missile interceptors that were used during the heavy fighting with Hamas in May. So they just voted 420 to 9. 420 to 9. That, that's a pretty big ratio, and I'm assuming... Half of those people are most likely Democrats, and half of those people are Republicans. And either which way, they voted to spend more money. Which is what? That's going to affect us, the taxpayers. We're, we just keep spending money and, and pulling it out of our butts. I, I don't understand why we have to be the world's police, and why we have to be the world's bank, and... Seriously. Uh, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub down below, drop a comment, let me know how I'm doing, let me know what I can do to improve, and thanks for staying plugged in. Peace out, crew.